Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from iDownloadBlog. Today we're going to take a look at the 6 best tweaks for the Messages app, starting with remote messages available for $3.99. This tweak allows you to view your messages in any browser, as long as you're on the same network. All you do is enable it, you can view the IP address and the port, add some security, as well as opt to send crash reports. Then open up any browser and type in that IP address. Then add the port number, so do the IP address, colon, and then in my case, 333, and then hit enter. It's gonna prompt you to enter your credentials, so admin and then whatever you wanna choose as your password. Now you basically have a messaging app in your browser. It works with iMessages as well as SMS messages. So I open up Faith here, I can respond to my text right from within my browser. I can also pull up any emojis that I'd like. I can filter on that little top drop down there, choose the one I'd like, just click on it, and then go and hit send. It's also fully responsive. So whether or not you zoom in or out or just the size of your window, it's always going to look great. Next up on our list is Korea. This is a free tweak available that'll help you respond from notifications. The idea is when you get a notification on the top, you don't really know the context of the conversation. So this tweak allows you to see your entire conversation from your notification. You can even change the look of your conversation. So we're just gonna put it on outline here. Now, whenever I get a text message, I can pull down like I'm going to reply and I'll actually have the full conversation history here as well. So I can see exactly what it is I'm responding to other than that one text. I found this one very handy uh, because I don't exactly remember what it is I'm supposed to be replying to. This was very useful in seeing the rest of the conversation at that same time. Next up on our list is Switch Service. This is another free tweak available that allows you to jump between an iMessage or an SMS text message. Settings in this are dead simple. Basically, you just have the option to enable or disable, turn on or off a vibration, and then alter how long you have to press to get it to actually activate. So we're gonna jump into our messages app and you simply hold on the send button. So actually write your text message and then press your finger on the send button and hold it for just a second. Depending on how long you've actually set the length for, it's gonna give that little flash of light coming out and alter between send and send, but in different colors, green for text, blue for iMessages. Following switch service, we have type status two. This is also available for free and allows you to more easily see when someone has read or is responding to your messages. Now this does only work with iMessage because it's the only one that gives you read receipts as well as that typing indicator. But for any of those messages, it'll show up in your status bar. You have a few different options available such as how it will display and how long it'll show up. As you can see here, Johnny is typing to me and Johnny has read my text message. This is super handy because you don't actually have to be inside of the messages app to see that it's happening. Nuntius is a really neat tweak that's available for a buck 49. This one adds a ton of different options to your messages app. On the surface, it allows for some customization of your messages app. So you can change the look and feel and even the background for your conversations. You can also hide or pin conversations. So if I want to always keep certain people towards the top, I can pin them there and they'll always be on the top of my list. Alternatively, if there's conversations that I don't care about or want to hide, I can add them to my hidden list. And when I tap on the messages, the word at the top, it'll toggle between my full list of messages and hiding the ones that I don't want to see. There are lots of little adjustments too, like being able to swipe to the right on a message and mark it as unread. Alternately, just swiping to the right again and marking it as read. I can also go in and disable the typing indicator so people don't know that I'm typing to them. And similarly to switch service, I can alternate between SMS text messages and iMessages. While many on our list are free, this one does add a lot of features for a relatively low price. I really like the option to pin messages, just keeping them at the top of the list makes it a lot easier, especially when I have a lot of conversations going on. Last up on our list is CK Counter. This is also available for free, and this is a very simple tweak that simply shows you the counter next to your text messages. 
Now I can change the color. That's about the entirety of the customization. But when you go into the messages app, you can see a little number now. And I'll just tell you how many messages you have in that thread. It's good to know it's not just how many messages total, but how many messages you have sent. So in my case of Ashley here, I've sent nothing. And in my conversation with Arby's, it's been very thoughtful, but it's been only on Arby's part. I haven't sent a single one back. And that covers all six of our tweaks. Let us know what you think below in case we missed any. Please subscribe. And other than that, I'll see you next time. This has been Andrew for iDownloadBlog.